Devin Alexander, Amir Khan. Let me say, prior to you starting this this um, this campaign of Amir Khan vying to fight Floyd Mayweather, and I decided that I was going to stop, you know, discrediting Amir Khan's career. He, he's not been a fan favorite of mine since the 2004 Olympics, which is where I was cheering for him because he was bringing something to the amateur boxing family that had not been seen. He was the only one out of the Great Britain area that competed, which was um, exceptional. You know, you, who does that? He definitely has a fighter spirit, and he's a warrior. He will fight. I've seen him get down, get knocked down, and get back up. We have to start giving him a little more credit. Um, Kale Brook came over here this summer and, and um, dismantled one of our top fighters, top welterweights, and Sean Porter. So that wasn't something that us American fans saw. It was definitely a clinic that he put on, and how he man, manhandled the bully was impressive. The fact that he went and got chopped up with a machete wasn't that impressive, but the fact that he can get in there and, and manhandle this guy. Uh, I learned a lot more about Kell Brook because I hadn't seen any footage on him prior to that, but he definitely showed his ring cachet. He's smart. He can adjust. He can adapt to any situation. You know, from that point on, I have to remove all bias of the UK fighter. So hats off to you guys over there in the UK. Cheers, mate. And uh, kind of segue this into Amir Khan. Will Amir Khan give Kell Brook a fight? No, I believe Amir Khan wants to stay the king of the UK. The fact of the matter this is if he fights Kilbrook, he'll be fighting for the for being the king over in the UK, which I don't think he's ready to relinquish before he fights Mayweather. I'm sure he'll fight anybody if he gets that fight with Mayweather post fight, that is. And Kilbrook to him, that's his that's his stamp right there. That solidifies him as the best in the business from the UK. But Devin Alexander is a guy, you know, I wouldn't call Devin Alexander a gatekeeper. But when it comes to the definition of gatekeeper, that's kind of what he is. You know, he's going to fall short. He's going to find a way to come up short of the mini-me when it comes down to it. And that's what he did the night of the fight. He was outgunned. He was outquicked. He was out. He was outcrafted. Amir Khan has a much better corner. Oops. Let me rewind that. He doesn't have a much better corner. He has a great mentor to polish up what he has. Let me correct that because I think Virgil Hunter is one of the best top three in the business. And he's a psychological genius. He understands how to get into the fighter's psyche. Now, Coach Cunningham is also superior at what he does. So that was a scratch. Make sure you don't put that on the record. But both of these guys got good fighters. But I just think Virgil Hunter had a better fighter. When it all when it's all said and done, um, <clears throat> Alexander couldn't utilize his his southpaw advantage, and it's a reason why because his southpaw advantage really wasn't that much of an advantage due to the fact that Amir Khan's had thousands of rounds in the ring with the best southpaw in the business, which is Manny Pacquiao. So you know, needless to say, he's definitely gotten to work to polish up all the rules on what to do and how to handle a southpaw, and he handled him well. He, he was fast of hand, he used more craft, he, he, he utilized the ring well, and he punched in bunches. He didn't, he didn't throw a continuous barrage of <clears throat> six, seven, eights, he cuts them down to fours, and threes and fours, and moves out, and <clears throat> he's calculated with his approach now, so that is um, credit to Coach Hunter. He understands how to make the most out of a career of a Amir Khan because he's talented. So, like I said, I would stop having a bias against him and, you know, kind of get in the corner and root for him to get bigger fights. And, you know, when you start fighting eight fighters, you'll start to see where you really land. And I think he deserves that much, you know. So, we'll see what happens in the near future.
like I said, a fight with a Timothy Bradley will be a great fight for Amir Khan. I don't think it'll be a step back. I think they both at the same point in their career. Timothy Bradley has more feathers in his cap, having that victory over Manny Pacquiao and Ruslan Provonikov. Now, where they land, who knows? But I know this. The fight was a decent fight. And the guy has to get his just due. He's worked hard and he's showed improvement at the end of the day. They call me the fight doctor. And I thank you guys for watching. Because you're watching Master Boxing. And this is where we break the fight world down, baby. Round by round. Stay tuned for Keith Thurman. Because Keith Thurman may be next on the menu for an American fight. Peace out.